G'day guys, it's Edo from the Bulldogs Elite Pathways page on Facebook. Um, another weekly wrap. I'm going to talk about the New South Wales Cup first and then the Jersey flag and the Queensland competitions a little bit later. So in New South Wales Cup this weekend, the Bulldogs sit in third position and they play the Knights in 12th um, as the NRL curtain raiser on Sunday at 11.30am. We get back... Ethan Kai Ward, Jade Nockenbaugh, Gerald Skelton, um, Curtis Moran, Pele and Hughes are all welcome back into the team. And some of the flag players that have been playing the last few weeks, they dropped back to Jersey flag. Obviously now with players returning from injury in the NRL, it's caused a, a bit of a fallback reshuffle where players have to be accommodated in order to play in cup. And the players still eligible for flag drop back. Um, we've still got Carl Alawapu as well, who could play this weekend. Um, he could end up playing in flag for all we know. He's still el eligible. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. And I do like Khaled Rajab back at 5'8 in the cup. Um, I think the club ideally wants a strong finish in cup and flag. And will... You know, they'll crunch the numbers on games played um, by certain players in order to qualify them and get them prepared to play finals footy in those respective grades um, pretty much from, from now, I reckon, uh, with, a f with only a few games go to go before the finals. Um, so it's a top five in the New South Wales Cup and there's six teams between second and seventh with only t within two points of each other. So being third at the moment, we really need a couple of wins to finish off at least and to qualify for the finals. Um, so, yeah, those players dropping back to Jersey Fleet that have played Cup, I don't see that um, as a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. Get them playing with their within their age group in these big games after they've had you know New South Wales Cup experience. I think it doesn't do their development any harm either way and if they do need to be called upon well they can be um so jersey flag are now in second and it's more about where they finish in the finals so a top two would be the goal um they've been in that top two sort of for most of the season so yeah they're only a couple of points behind the roosters and they play last placed at nights on saturday at lyle peacock oval in newcastle I've never been there. Um, that's at 12 p.m. And they welcome back Damon Marshall, Eli Clark, John Sewer, and Timmy Johansson. All back this week. Which leads me to last week's game played at Redfern. A 36-14 to 14 win. And I'm pretty sure Michael Gabriel might be suspended. He was sin-binned in that game. And definitely AJ Jones... Um, is out. He he went off holding his wrist and his arm. Hence why both are not named this week. So as I mentioned, this game was played at Redfern Oval last Saturday. And I got the train out there and it's only about a five to ten minute walk from the station. So if anyone wants to go see a game at Redfern, it's, it's really easy to get to. And to be honest, the ground is really good to watch footy from. Um... The stand is situated at a really good viewpoint and it's comfortable and, yeah, it's, it's... I mean, if you want to grab a beer and something to eat before or after the game, there's plenty of places being around the inner west and just on the fringe of the city, uh, which is what I did after the game. I, I went to a nearby pub and had some lunch and two beers and I headed, then I headed home and it was, a, yeah, a really good day out. I really enjoyed it. Um, so anyway, back to the game. And our completion rate was a bit low in this game. It was around 74%. We did make a few errors, particularly early on. Um, but we grew more and more into the game. And, yeah, we really dominated South in, in every facet. I'll go through some of the stats. And it was eight line breaks to four. Uh, we made 37 tackle breaks to just 13. 94% uh, effective tackles. Only 13 missed. If only the NRL team was like that. 
to, to 37 missed tackles from South. And, yeah, I thought our middles really impressed me. Zach Montgomery, Rip Boy, Hot Boy, um, and Jack Todd. Zach actually got two tries. Um, and, yeah, they were just getting our sets rolling. On average, I think our sets per set meterage was like 50 meters compared to just 30 from South. And that that allowed the, the likes of Dummy Half, Ruben Moyle, fullback Joe Ash Papali'i and, and half Joey O'Neill, just that time and, you know, to play a little bit of instinctive footy in and around the rucks with plenty of momentum and space. And they just backed each other up at will. And that's where the game was just... We just we just took the game apart with you know with those guys um, and kicked away. It was like it was pretty close after fifteen minutes. I think it was nil all for a while, and then and then we just went bang bang bang, and it was like eighteen or eighteen nil, I think. Um, Joey O'Neill was my man of the match. Uh, he he also made some really good one on one tackles on our line. Yeah, he's definitely a player to watch next season. Um, I think he has one more year where he's eligible for flag. But honestly, I can see him playing the whole next year in New South Wales Cup, especially with a pre-season under his belt. Um, yeah, I really like what I see. He's a tough kid. So that was a really good win. Well done to all the boys. In Host Plus Cup, the Clivesdales overcame North Devils in a triathlon, 42-34. And in the under-21s, Colts, the Clydesdales put the cleanest through North, 62-18, to 18, with halfback Kai Dugan bagging 22 points, which included a try and nine goals. Well done, Kai. So that's, yeah, good to get both Clydesdales teams up on the weekend, and that's actually a back-to-back -back win for the, the under-21s. Awesome work, boys. Let's trot. Finally, in the NRL... Um, this weekend against the Knights, probably fielding our strongest lineup of the year, I think. And well, that's no disrespect to you know, other players, but having the likes of Kicks and, and Tomo back in the team just adds more mongrel and experience in the pack. Um, it should be yeah, a much better game this week compared to the reverse game uh, a few weeks ago. So all the best to the boys this weekend and those making the journey up to Newcastle, drive safe um, and we'll talk next week. Okay, guys, catch you later.